Well, hello techies. Here we are again. Sir Physics here, looking at the concept of 3D game development. We're going to be using the Java Monkey Engine version 3, and we are going to be going through a basic uh, workflow to create a simple first person perspective 3D game. Let us take a look at that workflow. It's going to begin in Google SketchUp, creating some simple models and then moving on into the Java Monkey engine uh, where we will place those models in a 3D scene and do a few other things with some code and we could then take our game and put it into Windows, Apple, Android or other Java related executable file format for deployment. Okay, here we are in the Google SketchUp application. We're going to take a look first of all in the Google SketchUp plugins folder where I've highlighted the Ogre export plugin files as well as the Ogre XML converter, uh, which you can get separately and then go ahead and put them in your plugins folder and set those up. And I've also acquired the, uh, the roof plugin, which we'll be using as well. Okay, here within Google SketchUp, you can see this is called the orbiting of the camera. I'm doing middle mouse button and drag. I can do middle mouse button and shift and I can get a pan effect. Okay, so we'll use those as long as we need them and we'll go scroll in and scroll out as well for zooming as we see fit as well. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit and pan over and make a rectangle for the base of a building and I'm going to pull that up into three dimensions which is suggested for better results and I'm going to go ahead and use an offset tool and use rectangle tool, make some rectangles here make a rectangle here, rectangle here and delete this edge and basically now I'm just going to use the pull, push pull tool and pull up into three dimensions what we just made. Okay, so now we have a three-dimensional structure somewhat looking like a house already. Now I'm going to add some, add some textures to this. I'm going to throw some tile on the ground. I will go into, let's see, I'll put something on the wall here. Let's just go ahead and put some of this texture on the wall. And notice I'm using orbit and shift zoom to move around my perspective so I can see what I need to see to get all of the sides colored in okay and there we have pretty much everything I think we need alright now I'm going to go ahead and put a an outside on let's go get some bricks let's put some bricks on the outside and that should be much let's put a few bricks on the outside and we don't have to do the bottom nobody's going to see that and there we go and let's go ahead and put a roof on with the roof plug in and I'm just going to pick one two and and here's where I can use the shift and pan and choose the defaults and there's my roof and let me just put some roofing on there let me put some roofing shingles now I'm gonna have to go ahead and select everything control A and I will explode any groups because that roof as you can see is in a group with that one big rectangle around the whole roof that means it's in a group so I'm gonna explode that that's necessary to export correctly I'm also going to get rid of this person here who is not necessary and can also cause problems in exporting. So it's good to have one continuous mesh before exporting. So I'm going to go ahead now. Um, I actually noticed a couple faces here I can fix up. The bricks right there should probably be um, done. So I'm going to put bricks right here. And that means that's pretty good. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and export the ogre. 
and as I do I'm going to export a house example uh, to this particular folder I'm going to click export I'm going to go to that folder and you will see that here are the files that were generated I'm going to create a new folder and just call it house example and I'll just go ahead and put those files right into that folder so is to organize myself a little better here. So now this folder with these files that were generated from SketchUp is then going to go into Java Monkey. Okay, here we are now within the Java Monkey SDK, and we're going to take that folder that we had made uh, and put all of our files exported from Google SketchUp, and we're going to put that into our models folder in the Java Monkey SDK. Okay, let's go over here and we have our house example. I'm going to expand that and we can see the files that were generated. Here the house example mesh file is going to need to be right clicked and convert to Java Monkey binary. Now that that is done, we can just do a little preview, go edit and scene composer and put a little light to that. We can see that there is our house again using similar control features like shift and middle mouse button to uh, do the orbiting and panning. So that house looks fine. Let's go make a scene for that house now. Let's go down to the scenes folder and right click and we'll create a new empty scene. And let's just call this uh, our house example scene. And now within the scenes folder I have a house example scene and I'm going to go down to the bottom left here of the screen where it says new scene and this is my scene explorer I'm going to go ahead and add some terrain that I can put the house on and I'm going to use 128 and 32 in these two boxes and I'm going to go through over to here and just change this to 32 these settings should ensure faster running on the computer there is my terrain. I already have the light on up here. If I turned the light off, I couldn't see anything. All right, and let's go ahead and add our house. It's as simple as going and clicking on the house binary, right clicking and add it in the scene composer, and there it is. Very easy. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to go down to the scene on the bottom left. I'm going to right click. I'm going to add a point light. And you can see there's the point light shows up. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to move that point light with respect to everything else. So I'm going to basically move it so I have a illumination on the front corner of the house like that. Now if I turn off the other light, the ambient light, I still can see from the point light. I can see what I'm getting there. I like that effect, a little, like darkness. And let's go over and look at our scene again. Our scene is entitled House Example. I'm going to go over to the Java file. Standard Java class, it's a compilation of different uh, code from several examples within the Java Monkey uh, SDK package that you would download. Uh, if you want this actual file that I've put together, you're welcome to email me for that. I'm just going to change this line right here to load the scene that we just constructed and that's house example and that should be fine let's go ahead and go to that java file that's physics.java I'm going to go ahead and compile that and let's see what our result is okay and here we have a Select display setting scene. I'll select the defaults. And there is our world. Wonderful.